So is this change of heart genuine or not? Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about Logan Paul giving Candace Owens her flowers, her credit, her just due for battling the woke warriors and defeating them. Now, this is quite a bit of a, a turn, a change of direction for Logan Paul, who just two years ago was saying something different. He was citing Ibram X. Kendi, a.k.a. Henry Rogers, whatever the guy's name is. He was citing that guy talking about it's not enough to be non-racist. You got to be actively anti-racist. He was saying that just two years ago. Now, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, so please pardon my ignorance. But the whole anti-racist and Black Lives Matter things that he was saying two years ago is much different than what he's saying right now. As I asked from the very beginning, could this be a legitimate change of heart? I can't really tell. Maybe he feels free to say what he wants to say right now because there's less stigma and scrutiny behind all this woke stuff. You can not be woke and be fine and not get canceled. Now, before I go any further into it, let's go ahead and roll some clips here. If you want to see the clips in full without my commentary, link as always will be in the description. If you're not G, visit the link in the bio. Go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. How if you just say something outlandish, people will support it because they think you're going against the tide of like not saying outlandish. Now, pardon me. I'm not sure what this podcast is. I've seen it before. You guys in the comments, please let me know what podcast this is so I can give them the proper credit. Probably by the time you see this, I'll have it in the box anyway for you guys to check out in full. That makes sense. Like you're fighting back against like woke censorship. Wokeness is under attack. No, good. Thank God I hate yeah, it. People, but that's people are not going to make me go out and start being like, you know, yo, you know, gays. You, like, you, like, you know who's really slashing the woke army? Who? Candace Owens. Now, let's pause right here. Now, his reaction is kind of interesting, but let's pause right here. So, Logan Paul, one half of the Paul brothers, and by the way, if you guys are kind of wondering, if you guys are asking a question in your head, he does box, but he's not the prolific boxer. His brother, Jake, is the big-time boxer that does these WWE-style fights, in my humble opinion, allegedly. His brother's a bigger boxer. He is just a, a YouTuber and a bunch of other things. Now, let's... Keep that thought in your mind, and then let's watch some of this. Then we're going to get right back to the newer clip. This is from 2021, and shout out to Method Former Walkie for putting these up. One of my biggest learnings from all of this, and I'm embarrassed that it's taken me 25 years to realize this. It is not enough to be not racist. You have to be anti-racist. Yes. So that's him just two years ago, all right? Now let's go back to present day 2023. I'm just saying, I've seen some clips of her with a saber. <laughs> she, is she still around? Yeah. She actually, I, 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 I'm not going to lie. I'm not, she probably gets way more views than us. She probably gets hella. F yeah, but yeah, but what? Okay, so is this his podcast, Impulsive? All right. And I know I recognize that guy from the previous ones. So that's probably just a, a cast member. Let's keep on going. And there's their drink right there, the prime beverage. What is that? What does that mean? What is, what wait, no, I just, why, why is that your metric for success? What is that your metric for? Like, what is that? Is that, uh, you know, there's more things than views. Yeah, views don't really mean a lot. Views, subscribers, all that kind of stuff. I mean, it means something, but it doesn't mean everything. They may actually get more views on YouTube than Candace Owens does because I think their focus is to build the YouTube channel up. But when you're a Candace Owens, you're bigger than YouTube. Just like, Jake and Logan are bigger than YouTube. So is Candace. Candace at this point is a cultural icon, in my humble opinion. I know I'm going to get some comments about that, but it's fine. I said what I said. Let's keep on rocking. I mean, as a performance metric for a show, I feel like that probably would be the main. I think she probably does get more views than this. <laughs> remember when she said I had an underbite? <laughs> you do. Do you remember? I don't. I don't have an <laughs> Hey, guys. Uh, underbite is crazy. <laughs> Candace. Candace is hilarious, too. Just, like, sneakily funny. She'll say things that are kind of catch you off guard. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> like, that was, no, but that's she could have said so many things about me, and she said I had an underbite, which I don't. She, well, you should honestly be sure. grateful because she took a, a little dagger and shanked you a little bit. V versus, I've seen some clips of her recently 
dual blades off the back around yeah. the neck throat cutting mother when she's out giving her speeches at college campuses everyone loves oh, a, no, everyone loves a woman that. who can kick ass she's been doing that for a while especially That's... a pregnant woman who can kick ass yeah candace she been she been ending wokeness single-handedly i think i think it's over it's on the way out it's, it's on the way out huh? it's over will it come back you can, because will keep... wokeness come yeah. back no, well, yeah, I, think it will. I think that wokeness people are starting to get tired of it and I'm not sure it'll go anywhere anytime soon because the issue with wokeness is that it's a virus that teachers in K through 12 in college are spreading and also in the workplace. So while there's an active battle against it, there's also an active battle to maintain it and spread it. So it's going to be around for a while because of that, but there is an active fight. It's like, it's like a little war going on between the wokesters and the anti-wokesters. Everything seems cyclical. Yeah, cyclical. We're going to forget. It's a pendulum. That's right. Sean Strickland uh, is now the ideal human. That is. <laughs> All right. So there, that's that. Now let's get back to the 2021 Jake Paul. All right. Let's start from the top and see what he says right here. And then you're going to see a big contrast. And the question you got to ask yourself at the end of it is, was he saying this because he really believed it back then? Does he still believe it? Has he had a change of heart? Is he feeling more open to not be woke because there's less taboo behind it? Let's check it out. One of my biggest learnings from all of this, and I'm embarrassed that it's taken me 25 years to realize this. It is not enough to be not racist. You have to be anti-racist. Yes. Condemn those who feign superiority because of the color of their skin. Friends, hold friends accountable. What's up with the screaming and all that kind of stuff? Is this slam poetry? Is that what I'm hearing right now? Uh, Logan, Jake, and by the way, these guys, Logan, Jake, State Farm, all these people, they're kind of interchangeable. Thing one, thing, uh, thing one, thing two, freaking Frank, dumb and dumber. What's going on? Tomato, tomato. But anyway. Hold your family accountable. Hold yourself accountable. And most importantly, we must hold our authorities accountable. Police officers, politicians, policymakers. As Killer Mike said, Bully the politicians at the voting booth. Mm -hmm. Make your vo voice heard. Attend a protest. Speak up against injustice. If you're white, if you look like me, use your privilege. This is, this is very, 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 very woke. This is like the belly of the beast, the epitome of wokeness. This is just two years ago. Same guy. Same guy, uh, Logan. Logan Paul. And for those who do not think white privilege exists, you are blind. You are delusional and you are part of the problem. I can count on zero hands the amount of times that I have feared for my life at a routine traffic stop. That has never happened. Half of the reason I'm able to get away with some of my hooligan doing my vlogs is because I'm a white kid. I'm confident that I do not have to fear for my life should the cops show up. I mean, that's not really a thing. Fear for your life when the cops show up. I mean, if you didn't do anything, like most people have police encounters and it's nothing to write home about. Maybe you get pulled over. Like, I've been black all my life. I'm from the black community. Grew up in the black area. I didn't live in the area that wasn't majority black until I got to be fully grown. I'm talking about in my mid-30s. <laughs> like, recently, within the past five to six years. Okay? Beyond that, I've always lived in black area. I lived in the hood. I did all that. This whole thing about, are you fearing for your life whenever the cops show up is just BS. Unless you um happen to sell drugs like somebody did in Kentucky, Brianna Taylor. But anyway... Unless you live in that type of lifestyle, what are you really worried about during a traffic stop or something like that? This ain't slavery time. It's 2023, man. People just going to work, taking care of their kids, and that's it. Acknowledge and weaponize your privilege. I believe we're going to a protest today. You can bet your ass I'll be in the front line. Knowing all this about America, its racially charged background, it's inability to truly treat humans as equals, even after 244 years since its inception. We must now work towards finding the solution. And if you are an influencer or celebrity. So influencer, celebrity friend, same podcast, by the way. Same seat and Paulson from the background. Same podcast, same person two years ago, a whole different tune. Is he going to say this whole speech, this whole Ibram Max Kendi, Henry Rogers inspired slam poetry 2023 today? I doubt it, but back then it was all the rage. Celebrity friend of mine, I hope you are using your platform to continue to spread the message of solidarity and unity. I do not have all the answers, but I know we must now reverse engineer the system as a collective. 
All right, so there you have it. Uh, Logan, a.k.a. Jake, a.k.a. Jake from State Farm, a.k.a. Thing one, thing two, freaking frack, dumb and dumber. I ain't going to say that. Um, I think what he's saying right now makes a lot of sense. But what he said right there in that last clip from 2021 was a total opposite. So the question I had from the beginning is, as I close, is he having to change of heart? Did he just uh, feel more free to express himself in a true way? Was he being truthful back then? Is he being truthful now? I can't really tell. But I think ultimately he's saying the right thing now. And I'm willing to just forget the 2021 version of Logan Paul. Well, I'm not going to forget it. I'm going to just kind of put it over there. I'm going to put it over there for now and look at what he's saying right here. And I hope that a lot of guys and girls who have had the woke sentiment before and they pushed it out to a broad audience, hopefully more of them are going to retract those statements and push out a more positive message, one that's against all the woke stuff and against all the weird, ridiculous nonsense that they want to put on us and our children. Hopefully they all do that for the betterment of our society. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think that Logan Paul has turned over a new leaf? Are you buying what he's selling to you right now? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys may or may not know where I'm at. I think that he may feel more free to say what he really wants to think now in 2023. And then also maybe he's been living and experiencing certain things over the course of a short period of time. He's a pretty young guy. He was 25 back then. So what, 27 right now? So you're just starting to learn things. Like really, I kind of had some epiphanies right around his age that made me think differently. So maybe there is an actual revelation going on. And I think that he's not alone. A lot of people every day, they come up to me or they send me emails and might call my live show that I do every Wednesday and Saturday on the channel, 8 to 11 Eastern time. They all the time hit me up and say, hey, you know what? I was one way. I, I was very liberal, but then I was listening to you and Candace Owens and this person and that person. And now I think differently. I've been able to, you know, take the, the necessary steps forward to get away from that ideology. So hopefully he's experiencing that. And I think that, again, he's not alone. There are many more just like him. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share. And subscribe. Peace.